Hello, welcome to Perfectly Mediocre. We're back with our Barbie family and we're checking in with Barbie. <laughs> And let me tell you that it is a good thing that I checked in. I was coming here just to make sure that Xander has been making it off to university as planned. And it turns out it's actually already Aaron's birthday. And also, when Xander enrolled in university, that actually triggered the completion of Barbie's successful lineage. It says, have a child or grandchild reach the top of a career. I'm not sure how that worked. I mean, we do still plan, obviously, on getting B to the top of her career. I would not have considered going to university the top of a career. It just doesn't feel right. But, you know, we will still focus on making sure that at least B gets to the top of a career. So this aspiration will be, in my opinion, more officially completed. But, um, yeah, that just... That feels kind of weird. Okay, we're gonna switch over to Big Happy Family and she wants to have a child get married, which I'm kind of feeling like Aaron is the one most likely for that to happen. Um, I'm, I'm still not sure where B will go with relationships. I Part of me feels like she's the type to not get into a relationship and to end up having um, some kind of science baby or something like that. Um, I feel like Xander feels like a little bit more like the um, kind of free thinking type, the type who, you know, it's just a piece of paper kind of person. And so he wouldn't necessarily feel like marriage is necessary. And so that kind of leaves uh, like the kind of prim and proper Erin, who actually she wants to be a mega CEO too, but I feel like she's the one who wants everything. She's she's like the youngest, so you know she's used to kind of being the baby of the family and and kind of getting a lot of stuff, and you know like everybody thinks she's the greatest, and so she she wants to get the most out of life, and so that's kind of where I'm feeling with her. So I have Barbie making up a cake here. And we're going to go ahead and age up Erin, and we're going to get her off to university as well. Now, I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to try to see if we can get her to come on over um, so she can celebrate her sister's birthday as well. I still feel bad that we missed Xander's birthday. That was not cool. Um, oh, we should invite Naya over as well to get her over here. And we're, oh, she's feeling um, unsatisfied because she's hungry. Why don't you first quick run in here, use the bathroom. Okay, B will be right over. And you are chatting with your dad. Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay. And Naya will be right over. Excellent. Okay. So we'll have a little bit of a family gathering here. Let's see if we can get everyone to sit down. And then we'll have B, no, or We'll have Erin come and blow out her candles. This is like an amazing cake, by the way. It's so huge. Okay, I know you're hungry. You probably wanted to finish those waffles, but we're gonna make sure that you graduate, age up, all of those things. Ah, it's such a good moment. Um, I could have thought that, you know, may or would have thought that maybe Ken could dress up just a little bit for the occasion. But... You know, it is a 10 o'clock at night birthday party, so I'll give her a little, a little, you know, slack. I'll give him a little slack. All right, so she is a meditator. I was going to say mediator, but I realized it's meditator. Worldly and a green fiend. Okay, so someone who is materialistic, worldly, and focused on... Yeah, um, let's see. We're gonna aim for fortune, but I think it'll be more of a philanthropic kind of thing. You know, she'll be interested in making sure... Did you just age up into a... It's such, it's such an appropriate thing for her to age up into some kind of work outfit, like, right away. It feels fitting. Except that we are going to be sending you off to university, so... 
I'm going to cheat this rather than go through the whole process of putting her into university. Um, you know, because we do want to get back to B. I think they're going to send her to Brightchester as well. So we'll go that route. And um, I'm thinking similar to her sister, get a communications degree. And for now, I'll set her at home. But my plan is to move the two of them out into a house together in Brightchester. Um, I think Barbie would have felt that that was the most appropriate way to deal with the situation. You know, have them both have some kind of place to stay together and then they don't have to live in the dorms. You know, it's kind of not Aaron's thing. And Xander, you know, he's he's always just off kind of living his own life and being, you know, himself. So having space to just do what he wants kind of works for him. Well, it's not much of a home, but it will be their home for the next four years of university. Now, just as a heads up, we will not be really spending any more time with these guys and with Barbie. I'm moving them into unplayed households. We will see them, but we're not going to play them from this point on. So they are now officially part of the neighborhood and for that reason, they can basically do anything but rescue horses. I would allow the horses, but horses ending up in apartments and weird situations just doesn't work for me. Now, yes, there is the possibility of of dying in an accident. It, it could happen. I kind of like the family elements that I'm not playing to have that opportunity. Um, maybe opportunity is the wrong word, but I... I like things to be a bit unpredictable with The Sims that I'm not actively playing. It kind of gives me something to work with as far as a story for the main Sim that I'm using. It's not always the way a lot of people like to play, you know, I'm, it does bother me to lose the people that I played at one point, but at the same time it helps me to, I guess, create a more um, moving, thriving like storyline and um, history for my characters. And apparently B has decided that taking a bath in her parents' bathtub is an appropriate thing to do. I mean, to be fair, she only has a shower back home, so maybe she was just really in the mood for a bath. And, you know, her parents would be fine with it. It's just that perhaps maybe her own bathtub would have made more sense. Um, you know, there are three other tubs in the house that do not reside in her parents' bedroom. <laughs> Alright, I think she's going to say goodbye to um, Nana Naya and to her mom and head back home so we can, you know, spend a little time with the cat and get ready for the next workday. Alright, work is in six hours. It is like 3 a.m. We just have her working a bit on her logic skill which we need in order to get the promotion this has still not been fixed we definitely need to complain to the landlord because she does not like doing any um type of work on anything like that so hopefully it works this time around because last time yeah it didn't didn't go so well and while he's working on it her power keeps going in and out so that means that I can't even have her work on her computer to try to make some extra money. It really is getting frustrating. I, I hope, if nothing else, I'll be able to fix it, um, you know, with a cheat or something. But I'll give him another day to try to fix it. And after that, I'll see if I can fix it. And one thing I'd completely forgotten when I mentioned that I wasn't sure she would be interested in romance is the fact that she actually did have that little and, and this kind of indicates just how out of character it really was for her that i completely forgot about it but that whole issue with titus um the the little bit of moment that she had with him um i don't know if it will be forever but she definitely had some fun with it and we'll have to see if we want to take it further but it is love day so perhaps we should spend a little time with him um, after work. B wants to get her boss a birthday present, but can't leave work to buy it. 
How should she go about it? Order online or make a present? I mean, she was raised by the Barbie. I feel like she would be all into making a present. She'd be on Pinterest, you know, finding the, the best designs and figure out some way to just whip something up. B tries to craft something with items on her desk, but grows flustered. Her boss walks up, inquires, and is delighted by the gesture. B is able to step away with a good feeling of effort direct from the birthday boss. Performance gain was small, but, you know, she impressed her boss a little bit, so that's a big positive. And, you know, maybe taking care of... You know, she's, she's definitely not her mom, so it's okay that she wasn't able to pull that off quite as she intended. Now, she is starting to burn out, so we might need to take a day or two off of work. She's going to hate it, but she'll probably feel like it needs to be done. We are getting a check mark here, and it's so unfortunate that we didn't get that logic skill up to 8 because she would have probably gotten a promotion already, which would have put us at level 9 already. Still no luck with the box. You know, we may actually be forced to move just because of this situation. Um, my intention is to wait until she's at least a level 9 in her job. It would make sense with a promotion that she would move to a bigger apartment. I'm hoping we're not forced to move before that, but this power in and out thing kind of becoming problematic. Alright, she came home with an impressive 2,000 simoleons once again. Um, she's going to notice this little one scratching up the furniture, but we're going to make sure we, you know, feel a little guilty about it and end up just kind of giving her some treats and cuddling with her and our him. <laughs> I don't think I've established yet which one Pickles is. I do think that we should spend some of our money on an age down treat. I feel like B would consider that a wise investment. Well, with the power out, she can't order dinner, so I think we will first head to the vet's office, pick up a treat, and then go grab something for her to eat. Alright, I think we're going to create a date with Titus, you know, make, make a date out of this little dinner that she needs, and, you know, maybe spend a little bit of this love day with him. Whoops, we want goals. We want rewards. Anything to help us have the money to move to a new apartment. We're going to just do a bit of socializing and maybe just get some food. I'm hoping to just find a basic, you know, diner or restaurant or something for them to go to. Nothing crazy, just something basic. I really, really, really do wish that I had started this in my ultimate save because there's so much more to that save. Um, I have actually very seriously considered moving everyone to that save while I'm still relatively early in this whole thing. Um, the reason I'm in this particular save is because it started with Naya Cooks back when we had the um, Home Chef Hustle Pack uh, and I moved Ken, who at the time was Kentucky, from our horse ranch playthrough um, into this save and there are many times now that I wish I had moved everybody into a new save because there's so much more for us to visit and do in that ultimate save. The standard base game lots and everything just kind of feel a little bland after you've been playing in that one. Okay, can we order some... let's just get um, something... Oh, she's feeling a little floaty. Let's just um, get some cannoli. And she wants to, yeah, she wants to eat something, so we'll have that covered. And I really still need to give Titus a makeover. If he's going to be part of our lives, it has to be a pink makeover. That's just a requirement. I mean, it. people can disagree with that, but if you're in the Barbie world, Barbie world is pink. It just, it is. And so... That's how it has to be. We're going to discuss fitness techniques. I am starting, or hoping to start building some of her fitness ability. Um, you know, as I've said before, I feel like she would kind of have a focus on fitness. And I feel like she is putting on a bit of weight and probably not feeling all that comfortable with it. 
And we might as well discuss the food that we're eating. Maybe encourage him to give the cannoli a try. And of course we have to do a little flirting. I mean, it's, you know. I don't know what it is about Titus. She really just does kind of, he makes her a little different than her, her normal self. He kind of brings out a side in her that I didn't expect. And I'm not upset about that. Um, I did kind of forget about it, <laughs> but I'm not upset about it. Um, can we give a gift? Do we have, well, do we want to give him a death floor? Eh, let's give him a death floor. We do have, as part of this, to give flowers. I don't know if that's going to count, but we can, we can cross our fingers and hope that it does. And we have a spare. Yeah, it counted. Um, and we're on a date, so that should count. If it doesn't, it's yet another one of those situations where, you know, EA didn't quite pull everything together, but um, if this doesn't count as a date going on the love struck date, then I'm going to cheat it, I'm telling you now, because I like to be upfront when I do cheat. And when I cheat, it tends to be kind of on purpose or for a reason, such as things quite not quite going as they should, so that's all. Uh, let's see. We still have to discuss interests again. Apparently one of those didn't work out, so we'll ask about his taste in decor. Um, let's see. We're, we're kind of a slow burn on this relationship, too. Um, she doesn't... She's not, like, instantly in love or anything. It's just that she kind of, you know, I don't know. I didn't see her as the type to really fall in love. So I guess it's it's interesting. I'm just, I'm having fun exploring this relationship. It's actually good for her to not be just entirely, you know, all business and everything. She needs to let loose once in a while. And I, it might not hurt for her to have someone who makes her just a little less uptight. It's funny, sometimes the hardest thing to complete is the romantic socializing. Um, we'll make a bunch of different romantic interactions, but apparently they don't all count as socializing. Um, so, and the flirting thing too, it you very specifically seem to have to flirt because it doesn't count everything under flirtation. B has become overwhelmed with romance lately and feels a compelling desire to embody the essence of a love bug. Oh, we have to. I don't know. It's like I said, it, he changes her in a, in I feel a positive way. You know, she's, she's a little more open to just having some fun and that's not a bad thing. Oh, they haven't even had a first kiss. Oh, we have to have a first kiss. She has eat something again. I guess she is a little bit hungry, so we could do that. Oh, why is it awkward? Is it awkward? Well, maybe, you know, that makes sense. The, you know, f public displays of affection don't really feel like a... Oh, hello. Don't exactly feel like a bee kind of thing, so... Oh, now it's very awkward. Are you... Do you have, like, a crush on us or something that... That you're... I mean, we... We don't even know you, Wolfgang. I don't know why you would be making things awkward. That's so strange. Um, okay. Oh, I feel... Okay. Yep. I've, I kind of forgot about this interaction, but... Yeah, I feel like there'll be a confession of never having woohooed. I feel like Titus, probably the type to have, you know, maybe been around a little bit. And he's... He's like, oh, no big deal. I can show you what to do. Don't worry about it. And she's going to feel all awkward about saying that, so now she's going to be a little silly and, you know, just trying to get off the topic because she can't believe she just confessed that. Just, oh my goodness. Oh, that was so silly of her. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was funny. A um, little bit of silly, yep. Yeah, a little more impressioning. All right, still need to get the, we need one more romantic socialization. Um, let's confess attraction. Uh, hopefully it doesn't make things awkward because we just got out of the awkward 
And then I think... Okay, romantic satisfaction begins. We have a strong romantic relationship. I think I'm going to go ahead and get something else to eat because she's still feeling a little hungry. How about just a basic croissant? She's getting quite tired, but it's the weekend, so it's fine. She has several days until she has to work after this. So I think we could probably manage to do a pretty solid job of getting some kind of promotion on Monday. I'm really, really trying hard to get this gold date. Um, we just need to talk about food and then maybe share some interests. Um, the hardest, the thing that takes the longest time sometimes is just finding the topics. Um, oh, being affectionate. Romance, affection, um, confess attraction real quickly. Um, oh, we have to do it twice. Oh man, you gotta really, we just really get it. Okay. And present a romantic gift. Um, give him a small print here. One of your, one of your graduation selfies. Um, okay, that's for some reason not counting. Okay. <laughs> Things aren't counting in the spots that I thought they were. Okay, and small talk. Um, ask about his day. And then one more share interest real quick. Real quick, come on, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Dude, I can't click on you. No, okay, okay. Friendly interests. Interests, okay. Discuss color theory. Oh, we're gold, it's okay, okay. We got a cherished memories portrait once again. We already have one, but I kind of want to see if we go on more than one date, if we get different photos. I don't think that's going to be the case, but I can hope. And that was clearly a successful date, a successful love day. We're going to head home, probably just focus on getting our skills up over the weekend, um, trying to have some fun so we don't burn out, and We'll check back with, in with her after work on Monday with hopefully a promotion. I wish that they change up the poses once in a while. Um, also, I really want to quickly give this to Pickles so we can age her back down. Him, I, one of these days I'll actually get into Karita Sim and figure that one out. But we're going to give them an age down treat and then get to bed. All right, we just got a notice of making payment on our um, loan for school. I'm going ahead and paying the whole thing off and hopefully that will be the end of that. I kept forgetting that we actually have the loans to pay. <laughs> oh, Titus is out here working once again, just outside her apartment. Um, maybe we'll say something to him, but I kind of want to let him keep building his skills. If they do decide to pursue this relationship a little further, I think it could definitely be fun having a musician in the house along with someone who's so business focused. Oh no. Oh no, B is burned out. Burnout negatively impacts work performance and promotions, energy, fun, and skill gain. I probably shouldn't have had her really push in for this. She'll recover over time, but taking breaks and relaxing will help speed up recovery. If B stays burned out for too long, I was reading that. If B stays burned out for too long, her condition may get worse. All right, so we are actively experiencing burnout, which means that we need to do things like a little more fun, which I guess is a great time to bring in our love interest. Who has gone? <laughs> Titus has arrived. She's saying hello. And I think the two of them are going to just kind of watch a movie and keep things a little innocent at first. Um, I, yeah, the electricity is still not cooperating with us. And even when I reset, it only temporarily comes back on. But we'll try watching a movie, see what happens. Um, we'll watch College Cram. Something that very much is not the kind of movie she would watch. But I see it as the kind of thing that Titus would try to introduce her to. Maybe it's his favorite movie. Listening to that crackle all day would drive me absolutely crazy. Especially if I was watching a movie while I was doing it. You know, my only issue with 
the sectionals is that you can't do any of the napping or cuddling or anything like that that you can do with a normal couch or love seat. It's a little bit frustrating. Um, I am going to order something to get delivered. I think she'll try to order something special. Maybe a little something from Komarebi Cuisine. Uh, a little beef ramen sounds good. Um, she just collapsed from exhaustion, but she has half of her energy. That was really weird. Okay, why are you shushing him? Was he talking too much? What the... What was that about? <laughs> I didn't even know you could shush a sim. Oh, there's a protest going on out here. What are we protesting? Um... Okay, what are we... But I don't remember. This looks like maybe lowering taxes. Um, sure, she's gonna join this protest. <laughs> Why not? And then she'll go ahead and, you know, unload the delivery bag. Is he talking about how cuckoo she is? I love the delivery guy and her boyfriend are just hanging out inside while she's out here like, Woohoo! Protest! Let's go! <laughs> Don't even know what she's protesting, but we're in it. We're... Loving this moment for her. She definitely is... She's going off the rails a little bit. <laughs> Maybe the sound of this thing crackling all day long has officially just driven her over the edge. Alright, she's gonna call him to... Oh, wait, he's... Of course he's heading out, just... Wait, no, we can, we can call you to eat. Call... Titus to eat. Okay, come on. Come on, you can eat. No? Not gonna eat? Alright, well, I guess we'll eat our own ramen and put this one in the fridge for tomorrow. Sorry we didn't get that in time. There was a little protest thing, you know? We had to get involved. Neighborhood and blah blah blah. Alright. I was gonna check back in on, on Monday, but, you know... We had things to do. I was kind of hoping he'd spend the night, but I didn't have time to ask him to spend the night, so... I think we'll have her do a little jogging. Um, I, you know, this is probably just getting to her. Uh, she's not a fan of fitness, but it needs to be done. She keeps getting a phone attached to her hand as well, and I don't know what that's all about. We're definitely having some, some glitchiness today. And she's just like, nope, I don't want to work out. You can't make me. Maybe we should just send you to bed. You're just, you're going to be that way. It's time for bed. It's early bedtime. Always the thing to do when you're just not having a good day. Ugh, garb. Unless I missed it. We got no notification of this, but she is no longer experiencing burnout. I mean, maybe a day of romancing and jogging <laughs> took her mind off of things. I don't know. That was very strange. It just kind of went away. Which, I mean, I'm not going to totally complain about, but I think because of the power in and out, I'm... Well, maybe I can if I can get in there, do a job of some sort. A little side hustle here. Um... Preferably something she doesn't hate. Maybe some kind of gaming type thing or something fun. Um, how about some live chat sports? I don't know. Something to try to build some skills here. Um, and then I'll have her playing chess again and hope that things don't go downhill from here. But it is Sunday already. Still hoping for that promotion on Monday. Customer chat from the Home Hustle task. Helping other Sims resolve their issues with companies through the power of online chat felt good. Plus, they couldn't see the face B was pulling. No! Naya has passed away. Uh... 
finally did him in. <laughs> uh, we tried, but I'm sure glad I didn't have B try to fix it. You know, this seems like a solid reason to, um, to move. We do finally have that skill at level 8. So, you know, I love how she's just sitting here like, proud, apparently, um, and flirty, and, um, yeah, we do have a death flower, but I don't know if I want to waste it on the repair guy. <laughs> I don't know that the average person would waste their death flower on their landlord. Um, that sounds so mean. Um, let's try to make friends with death. We do have a fear of him, so, you know, maybe being friends with him will will make things a little easier on us. We want to give away some simoleons. Do you think we can bribe death with some simoleons? Actually, let's try a cheerful introduction. Hey, how you doing, death? Good to see ya. Hello, darkness, my old chum. He's a night owl. <laughs> Hi, charisma. That's an interesting one. I expected the night owl, but didn't really expect the high charisma. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Kinda. Can we can we talk to him about our? Can we have a little bit of a deep discussion about our bestow some empathy on death? Can we talk about our fear of death? <laughs> oh, we can ask. We can ask him to prefer pursue his dream job. Um, oh, let's offer him some career advice. <laughs> yeah, you want to get out of that dead end job. Oh, for a listening ear. Now maybe, maybe Grimm's feeling a bit, um, you know. Like, no, not romance. That was not the spot I meant to click. Um, you know, so maybe she'll have some advice on that. Um, little, I don't know, okay. We're apparently attempting to hug him, but that's... Um, you know, maybe maybe Grimm's lonely. So he's like, yeah, I just can't find anyone who can understand what I do. And she's like, hey, have you tried online dating? Works out really well. Dude. We gotta move. I really hope she gets a promotion. All right, we have work in seven hours. Let's let's try to get some sleep and let's hope we can get that promotion. So I'm thinking of something here. He repairs things. A lot of the ghosts tend to break things. So what happens if your landlord dies in your apartment? Does he break and then fix the things that he breaks? She's so attached to the phone, she attaches it to her spatula, and it ended up in her scrambled eggs. It, I don't know. She's She's got to chill with this phone. It, it seems fitting that of all sims to have a glitch where their phone is attached to them 24-7. It's her. B's boss offers her the chance for extra training. What should she do? Oh, she is totally taking it. And that gave us a medium performance gain. I think we pretty much have secured that promotion. Yeah, there we go. Promoted to corporate raider. She will now make an additional 130 simoleons per hour for a grand total of 388 simoleons an hour. She received a bonus of 1,746 simoleons and a framed collector's edition issue of the Kronos magazine. All right, that is... I think is a great place for us to end it today. And next time, she's going to be in a new apartment, taking advantage of that bonus and all the money she's got to just upgrade a little bit. You know, having your landlord die in your apartment, probably a good reason to leave. And, you know, a promotion, well-timed, doesn't hurt. 
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider taking a moment to paw that like button, comment to share your thoughts, and subscribe for more mediocre content like this. Until next time, remember, you are perfect just the way you are. Uh -huh.